This is definitely one of the most famous shots in the history of the EuroLeague. A shot that won the 2012 title game. This shot belonged to Georgios Printezis, a star who needs no further introduction. This shot was in no way improvised. It is unique and very personal to him. Maybe they remember this because of the shot in Istanbul, that, uh, because it was the last shot. It's like a flutter, but okay, maybe the way that I do it, it's maybe angry a little bit. I think from when I was young, I called style like that, so I work on it and I feel comfortable. So maybe it's my favorite move, so I try to continue to do that. Since storming to two consecutive titles, everybody is wondering what is the secret to Olympiakos Pirel's success. One of these is probably the fact that in a 12-man roster, there has always been also a large majority of Greek players. It's very important to its country to have players from, uh, from their country, so on the bad moments, uh, everybody we are together, we know what uh, what the fault is, and uh, we have more team spirit. Making it to the top is hard, but what is even harder is to stay there. Georgios knows that there is only one formula for this. I never was the, the big talented player, but uh, every day I work very hard, especially the summer. I never stop, I never go for vacation, and uh, I try year by year to win my position because from young guy, I was playing in a very big team like Olympiacos and always I had players in front of me. To win the respect and the, from, 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 from my coach, I have to work more, maybe double times from the others. I saw what is my weaknesses, I tried to improve it and I was focused 100% from what I need to do to try to be in the highest level. Georgios is 30 and he has already played 11 EuroLeague seasons. However, in 2007, he was drafted by the NBA. I was very young. I went to first time I went out of Europe. Nobody told me that in the draft I have to, to wear a jacket or I have to be, you know, good. One hour before the draft starts, one guy told me, where are you going like this? What do you think you are? And I tried to find the last 20 minutes, I tried to find a jacket, a jacket in, uh, in the New York City. Then I took a bicycle with one Chinese guy and uh, everybody was coming with a limousines and everybody with the big cars and I was with a bike last time with a jacket in my head to, <laughs> to celebrate this event, you know. It was strange feelings, you know.